So you just want the basic crash course on the abilities of Adobe Firefly. Not a problem. If you go to the official website, you will see a variety of things that you can choose from, including, if you are a vector artist, text to vector, but that's for another day. We are just gonna go to text to image, which is really easy. Type in your prompt and click generate to see what it looks like. I just need some cool environment ideas for a water-based environment in Unreal 5, so let's try this. Now from here, you can either make it look more realistic with photo or more stylized with art. You can also change the dimensions. So if you want vertical portrait, that is an option. And if you want a more horizontal landscape, you can do that too. Now down here is a thing called intensity that determines how aggressive the visuals are. So the higher it is, usually the more clear the colors are gonna be. The less it is, the softer the image tends to be. Now, if you have a reference image that you wanna use, strength determines how close to the original it will be. So if strength is high, it will basically try and mutate the image without changing too much. If strength is low, it will deviate from the original a lot more. Now down under effects, these are kind of like filters. So if you want to change the mood or the style of something, you can just pick one of these preset filters down here. My personal favorite is cinematic. Now let's say you find an image you like. If you go up here and click, you'll have more options such as show similar, which will use that image as a base to generate new ones. And if you really like it, you can just use that image as a style itself to generate more images in the future. Under generative fill, you can erase parts of the picture that you're not happy with and type what you really want over here. I want to add some contrasting color to this, so we're going to type in red tree. Be beautiful. And if you like the foreground, but you want to get rid of the background, you can do that here, or if you go back in this menu right here. Either way, it will automatically remove the background for you, allowing you to replace it with whatever you want, like an awesome abandoned castle. So those are the main features that you will want to mess with. The last cool thing that I wanted to show you was the text generator, which is like the exact same thing, but just for text. So if we wanted the words fantastic, but in an awesome curvy elvish style font, we can do that. And if we change our mind and want a burning fire font instead, we can do that too. It's really just up to your imagination. So just try whatever you want and see what works for you. It's hella useful and a great way to bring your imagination to life in seconds. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.